How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I completed the National League collection and maxed out another created player. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I've been flipping the market here and there. I've been able to make about 200,000 stubs and probably an additional 100,000 just off of cards that I've been able to unlock and sell. Um, but so far I have put in several hundred dollars into the game as well to purchase some stubs and complete the National League collection. So I just kind of wanted to explain how I was able to earn all the stubs in order to unlock these cards. And I am excited to unlock the National League collection because we're now going to have a lot of diamond players just in time for the Moonshot event that's coming up. And I want to try out a variety of brand new hitters on my ranked season squad. We're going to have a lot of players to create videos with and that's exactly why I did this. So thank you. Shout out to all of you guys. I cannot thank you enough for the support. I appreciate it. And I just try and help out as many people as I can. I feel like in this video, I'm trying to include some additional information for people that are looking to create a second ball player or uh, continue grinding maybe their first ball player and max out the base attributes as fast as possible with this type of method. So that's gonna be kind of the second half of the video we're gonna go through each and every collection the main reason why I decided to create a second ball player is largely due to the fact that I'm going to unlock 97 overall Chase Sutley in this video and my first created player was playing second base so I want to build a shortstop and the really cool thing about the created ball player this year is the fact that I already have the diamond archetype unlocked so all I have to do is create a brand new Road to the show season, activate the shortstop created player, and max out his base attributes, and it will ultimately be the exact same card as the second baseman that I have already maxed out. They'll have the same attributes, they will just play the other position, and that's exactly what I'm looking for, because I'm going to unlock this 97 overall Chase Sutley, but I'm also really excited to unlock Roberto Clemente. I did not really use his card a whole lot last year, just because of when he was released, it was kind of later on in the year and he wasn't as good as some of the other cards in the game so i didn't use him a whole lot i did unlock him through the field of dreams event but here we're now going to complete the national league collection and unlock him this way before i do that i am going to go ahead and go through some of these legends and flashback collections to see if i can get to unlock any of these diamonds and here we get joe nathan and i'm pretty sure we're we're going to get a couple ball as a habit packs as well so that's pretty cool hopefully we can pull a diamond out of that now i'll go ahead and unlock roberto clemente and we'll get one more ball and pack for this milestone collection we'll go ahead and open up these packs take you through what my creative ball players attributes are looking like fully maxed out i have been able to max out uh, the duke and the anomaly archetype for my brand new shortstop and then if you're still a little bit confused as to how this works i'll take you through each and everything i'm also going to show you how to uh, max out your creative player as fast as possible in this video I'm trying to make it a little bit more interesting than just the collections But I wanted to focus on a separate video collecting the cards and post a few videos with some gameplay of some of these cards as well I've been grinding the event the last couple events. I've been able to earn the 50 wins So I've been playing this game uh, each and every day I've been playing it a little bit here and there anytime I get all my work done I hop on the game and I'm trying to you know continue to make more stubs continue to grind some of the cards out uh, Unlock some of these diamonds and I'm having a ton of fun with the game I know that uh, some people are concerned with gameplay at the moment and I'm hoping that with patches and when they continue to increase the amount of content that's in the game i'm excited to see where this game goes and to kind of see how it plays once we get more players that are higher in overall and things like that um, but ultimately no diamonds in this pack opening that's all right we're going to go ahead and take you through the created player so as you can see i have the duke diamond archetype activated right here and this is my shortstop build i also have a second base build and some people get confused uh, on the right side there that check mark also says activate now in order to use this shortstop that's not how you necessarily activate them i'm going to show it here in this video but this is the duke archetype fully maxed out uh, pretty much everything you need with the equipment i've included it in my duke video i've included it in a few videos that i will link in the comment section down below this is the anomaly archetype the cool thing about grinding the power archetype 
originally and then the sparking slugger archetype is the fact that you get both of these maxed out and you can pick and choose and it's tough for me to decide you know do i want the gold defense do i want the plus 24 speed do i want the stealing ability for the you know subtraction of 20 contact or 25 contact depending on the perks i put on there do i want the maxed out power at 125 we have a lot of options and i think it's pretty cool i'm excited to use the creative player this year honestly i didn't think i would have one um, but basically what you're going to do is hit the square button on road to the show and you can activate and create many ball players. I'm going to use two right now because it does take several hours to kind of go through a few Road to the Show seasons and starting this up. But anyway, I activated my shortstop. I set up a brand new Road to the Show with a roster that I've downloaded. I have both a Rockies roster and a Phillies roster that I've downloaded from the vault. And we have a lot of Joe Random players maxed out overalls on our team and terrible overalls on their team. Now we're going to simulate. We're going to go into the game like we're going to play it, and we're going to quit. We're going to simulate through. You will get these types of screens. On this very first one, if you ask him the question, what kinds of work, you get a practice choice right away. And these are training options that you can build these base attributes. They start off at 30, and you can max them out at 50. So if you think about it, if you max these out, you can earn an additional 20 attribute points on top of the different archetypes that you pick on top of the equipment. When you see the variety of attributes among creative ball players in MLB The Show, this is exactly why. People do not understand that you need to max these out at 50 to make your ball player the best that they can be. And if you actually play these, which I, I don't recommend, you can skip through them and earn uh, the upgrades that way but if you actually play them I did it just for this video you can do different training skills and different little mini games and max out your creative player a little bit faster but actually completing these tasks take a little bit more time so it's kind of up to you um, for example on certain ones like power upgrades on speed upgrades base running things some of the attribute categories allow you to play this type of mini game and some of them don't I would only recommend playing the ones that you don't necessarily upgrade by simulating through the game of Road to the Show. And those are attribute points like uh, speed is a good one, doesn't really upgrade that much. Uh, power is another one that doesn't upgrade a ton. You definitely upgrade contact a little bit more. But as you can see, I mean, I'm just mashing L1, R1 and uh, earning the gold badge. You will see that instead of increasing my power by one attribute, I was able to increase it by two attribute points, but it's still early on. As you increase these attributes past 40, 45, then you will start to see how it takes a little bit longer to upgrade those attribute points. But you can see that there, power versus left went up by two, power versus right went up by one, and we got the base gains maxed out at three plus signs. Uh, but that's kind of everything you need to know we're going to just keep doing this over and over again. It does take several seasons, right? Once you get to the end of the season, you're not going to be able to start up a second one if you have a custom roster that's kind of glitched out. You will have to start up a brand new road to the show, but that's okay. As long as the same created player is activated, those base attributes will always save. Those save to your created player within the cloud, within the database in this game. So starting up a brand new road to the show is not going to mess up your creative player, but you're starting over to earn those base attributes to earn those training sessions one more time or two more seasons worth. It just depends. But this is the current squad and that's gonna do it for this video. I'm College Lefty. I'm gonna get some gameplay with these guys. I hope you all have a great night or a great day depending on when you're watching this video. But until next time, peace out.